Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, January 26, 2023. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino. Well, it is rather windy out there this morning with our low pressure system departing the region. We're seeing winds from the west around 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts at times pushing to around 30, 35 miles per hour as we move on through this morning. Temperatures range from the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior, lower to mid 40s in your suburbs, and mid to upper 40s along the coast, lower 50s on the east and Long Island. Pretty much right now are high temperatures, and the rest of the day we'll start to see temperatures slowly fall off into the 40s and 30s as we move on through the afternoon and into the evening hours. And there is a chance for an isolated rain or snow shower as weak troughs rotate through the region but for the most part we're looking at sky cloud cover for today on our surface map and radar again here's our old primary load the new secondary load starting to take over that's going to lift up into the gulf of maine keeping precipitation going over northern new england but for us it's just going to be cold air building into the region with this weak trough here swinging on through keeping up the threat for a few isolated rain and snow showers in the forecast and then We'll have these cold fronts here rotating through through this weekend, keeping conditions relatively unsettled, but no major storms or anything that's expected through this weekend. So if you're heading out to the Eagles game for the NFC Championship, well, we all have a few passing showers, but really nothing really too significant to worry about, nothing that will really impact the game. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, again, scattered cloud covers expected with a few pesky rain and snow showers. Temperatures falling through the 40s and 30s this afternoon with windy conditions. The winds will subside this evening into tomorrow morning with scattered cloud cover continuing. Low temperatures will range from the upper teens to lower 20s over the northern interior, mid to upper 20s in your suburbs, and upper 20s to lower 30s along the immediate coast. For tomorrow afternoon, look for a sky cloud cover. Again, an isolated rain or snow shower is possible, but for the most part, tranquil conditions will be in place. Look for low temperatures to range, I should say high temperatures, pardon me, should range from the lower to mid 30s over the northern interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. On Saturday, look for a sky cloud cover. Again, there is an isolated threat for a rain or snow shower, but most locations will remain with just sky cloud cover. Look for low temperatures to range from the mid to upper 20s over the northern interior, lower to mid 30s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the northern interior, mid to upper 40s along the coast. On Sunday, a cold front will move through with the threat for scattered showers in the afternoon and evening. Again, nothing really heavy is expected, maybe a tenth of an inch of rain, but I can't rule out a few showers during the Eagles game in the afternoon. I believe they start at 3, 3.30. So definitely watch out for a few passing showers, but other than that, nothing too significant. Look for low temperatures on Sunday to range from the lower to mid 30s. High temperatures will range from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the northern interior, mid to upper 40s over the suburbs, and upper 40s to a few lower 50s on the immediate coast. On Monday, our cold front sags to the south and stalls out. We'll have waves of low pressure moving along with the threat for a few rain and snow showers. Low temperatures will range from the lower to mid 30s. High temperatures will range from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior, lower to mid 40s along the coast. On Tuesday, a stronger cold front will move through with again a few pesky rain and snow showers. Nothing really organized, but you're going to notice a much colder feel to the uh, air mass with temperatures falling off into the mid to upper 20s over the interior lower to mid 30s along the coast high temperatures range from the lower to mid 30s over the interior upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast now yesterday we did a wave of low pressure that was tracking to the north of the region which led to rain and snow showers generally a warm forecast today we're seeing a colder version of that forecast with the Stationary front remaining to the south and a stronger wave of low pressure moving through, leading to the threat for a light to moderate snowfall. You know, in this depiction, anywhere between one to three inches over the interior, three to six inches on the coastal plain. However, I caution this forecast is dependent on how this low pressure system develops and whether it's able to inch a little bit further north. And that will lead to a drastically warmer forecast than what's currently in place here. So if this holds, you're looking at 
again with an arctic air mass to the north of us that is that is significantly colder and a very warm air mass to the south which is significantly warmer we're kind of caught in between in this battle zone and as a result our low temperatures in this scenario range from the upper teens to lower 20s over the interior mid to upper 20s along the coast high temperatures in the mid to upper 20s over the interior and lower to mid 30s along the coast if this storm ends up further north you're talking about 10 20 degrees warmer in your whole temperature range so there's a lot that can change here so just be cautioned there is something brewing for the middle of next week but we're still working out the details and then on thursday arctic high pressure will build south with sky cloud cover and i can't rule out a few flurries especially with that trough dropping in from the north look for low temperatures ranging again quite a bit from the single digits to mid-teens over the interior upper teens to lower 20s along the coast high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 20s over the interior upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast which again is dependent on where this stationary front sets up because south of the stationary front it is significantly warmer and then just to kind of give you a glimpse beyond this point there is indication of a possible storm for the first weekend of february however i caution this scenario and for those of you that followed the discussion last night where i talked about the pattern overall in february yes definitely colder but the zero z european guidance and in some levels the gfs and the ensemble guidance basically illustrates what could happen if you have all the short waves all the features interacting just right perfect this is what can happen understand though if one little feature is off this is a much warmer forecast so i just want to put that out there a lot of volatility a lot of potential but it won't take much to have this end up being completely warmer and wetter. So that is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day. And as always, stay safe out there.